is JFMMTD, we have a little um, secret vehicle for GT Online. So, if you do do the mission, uh, I think it's Dirt Road, it's a job mission on the jobs, if you just go in here, it should be on the mission for jobs. So, um, I'll see, if, yeah, Dirt Road. So, Dirt Road is a mission where you can actually get Trevor's vehicle. So, all you need to do in Dirt Road is click on jobs when you're online, go to, um, go to missions, then go to Dirt Road, it should be near the top. Um, then go and host if you want to play on your own, and then basically you do come to the loading screen like you normally do, and then you just get on with the game. So you spawn basically here, and all you want to do, guys, is just run down here for about I know what half a minute, and then as you can see right in the bottom there, you can actually see uh, Trevor's truck there. Um, yeah, literally everything exactly the same. There's no difference. It's just like an exact replica of a Trevor's truck, but it's not really a replica. It's the actual car. So. Basically, all you need to do is actually, instead of going to the left, you want to go where, to your, where your house was. So I did mark it before. So mark your house with a little point of interest. That's what I did last time. And make sure you have a slot in your in your garage. So if you don't have a slot in your garage, you know, just get rid of one of your cars. Or even if you didn't have a house, even if you have a normal garage, you can do the exact same thing. So um, all you want to do is just drive all the way down here for, for about four miles from me. Because my house is just in the centre of town. So um shouldn't take that long. So yeah, everything's exactly the same. The yeah, headlights are the exact same. If it was night, you'd be able to see the headlights go off. And you have them little beef seats at the back where they sit, where Ron usually sits in the campaign and stuff. So I'm guessing your friends are biting and you flipped it, they both fly out and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's pretty fast. I reckon it seems pretty fast. So uh, you can go show your mates online. If you if you don't, if you never find it spawn there on the mission dirt road, I know, yeah, it, it, will, it should spawn there, there's no way it shouldn't, like, if it doesn't spawn there, just walk around for a bit and come back, it should just be in the location. So, um, yeah, let's drive down there. So it's not the ideal car to have, like, because it's not a sports car and supercar, what everyone's looking for, but it's still, yeah, it's still a good car and it's a unique rare car. So, um, we're driving down here to the garage and then we're sticking the garage. And then I'll show you basically in the garage and then yeah everything's fine. And if you don't have a house and you don't have a car, you could always do the mission in the car, like make sure you're in the car until the whole of the mission. And then when the mission ends, click on free mode while you're in the car. Like don't step out the car at the end of the mission. Just, well it might if you step out automatically that's fine. But don't get out the car by yourself, just let it do it automatically. And then click on free mode and then you should just spawn in the car and just try to set the Los Santos customs and make it your own vehicle. So um, I'm not tried that yet but it should work because it usually works with most of the cars I've done. Because I was looking for this muscle car and then I did free mode after doing this mission for Gerald and then I got the car and they just customised it put it in my garage. And yeah, so uh, we're in the scene now. I'm not following the mark because this is a little faster way. So the car is pretty fast, it's not really 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 slow. Like, it's faster than most of the cars, it's, it's faster than, I reckon it's faster than Michael's car to be honest, because I've got Michael's car in my garage. I'll actually do a video on where to find his car, because um, people have been struggling where to find it, and basically, you just get a message or something, um, you follow the message, it says like, it says like, Ocelot, Jackal, uh, Phantom, CEO, something, uh, what else is there, it's like, it's Obey Talligator, Talligator is the one you want to be looking for. So all you want to do is, fly, is just go to the golf course garage, I mean, park, car park, and it should spawn there usually. The reason you have to do that little mission where you get the text is because it usually spawns there all the time. So, uh, yeah. And hope, thanks to the help of my mate Ryan, he actually got it for me because he found one of them. When you drive the same car, it should spawn most of the time all over the place. Like it was in So, we're at my house now, it's going to stick in the garage. So, the blips don't show up on the map, but I think that's just so, you know, I don't know why it does that, but. Still can go in your garage. Got Trevor's car, it saves Trevor. It should repair a bit because of some of the garage. So guys, uh, see you in the next uh, little episode of either, either Easter eggs and um, guides or just random messing about with ETA. So right, I see you later. See you next video. Peace out guys. Look, thanks for subscribing if you subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and comment if you have any yet. If you comment if you want you tell me about any other secret vehicles because that's really the other one found at the moment. And, Instead of the submarine, but it's not really a vehicle, it's just boat, all the water kind of boat thing. Yeah, I see you later. Peace out. See you next video.